Hey guys, I'm IDT here uh, with a, another video of my cruel addiction, which is spending my life savings on Pokemon cards that are vintage. Um, so long winded intro, and I'm about to cough, but I'm going to try to hold it. Um, so let's just get into it, guys. So um, let's start off with this one. Um, hopefully, we don't have any hardies to open. So, what I like to do is I kind of like to open these. And then show you what it looks like, how these people packaged it. Put <laughs> these people, but how they package it. So, um, well, this one's pretty simple. So, uh, came in this cardboard right here. So, uh, I mean, I would put cardboard on both sides, but other than that, I think it's like a card. It's like one-sided cardboard with uh, index card wrapped around it, or or hard paper. I don't know how you look at that with some masking tape. I think is what they call this. Uh, tape that he used actually because it's got the instead of just n using normal tape I don't I don't get that guys so uh, let's let's be normal with our uh, uh, our taping methods <laughs> um, oh my goodness so let's get this in here and I have my phone in my pocket again so if it goes off I apologize for that but I hate to turn it off just in case something bad happens or whatever, which that's a weird thing because it's like make the video and then turn it off later out of sight of him. Alright guys, so we got the, just see what this comes with. So again, I hate how when they do this, so they put two cards in a hardcover. Um, you know, the back is important on these, and so, you know, any rubbing together on these is, is a big deal. So we got the uh, base set Onyx. Uh, not too much to be said with it. Um, you know, kind of the traditional thing. Then we got the base set Magnemite. Um, you know, nothing nothing too crazy, but, um, or should I say base set Unlimited for people who don't know. Um, and the reason why I like the base set is because... Um, you know, guys, with with the popularity of the it going on, even uh, even base set is going to start to get gobbled up. So, I mean, really, you know, you know keep on the lookout for it because it's it's definitely um, worth it. I'm, I'm going to throw their hard case out. Um, I feel like they usually send you the nastiest hard cases. So, <laughs> um, then uh, this is actually one. So I'd actually already pre-opened this, but for another video, but the camera. Uh, end up kind of bugging out, so I just decided to leave it and not really look at what I got to see, um, you know, what that was like. Um, so let me pull this out. So this, see, this one's a little bit better. So um, we got just the base fossil set, Cedra. So um, you know, this is kind of one of those that. Um, you know, I used to think all Pokemon designs were amazing. Now I just realized, like, that's just an angry seahorse. And Horsey is just a seahorse. Like, they did, they just gave it a name and some powers. But, hey, that's okay. Um, then the, uh, just the fossil set, Sand Slash. So, um, you know, nothing too crazy with this card. But I think Sand Slash is one of those. I think a lot of people, um, or, or at least I did, I liked Sand, uh, slang, uh, sand Slash. Um, I feel like it was a really good evolution from like Sand Shrew. Um, you know, Sand Shrew I think was one of my favorites because uh, in the in the original series, you know, he battled that circus type guy who had the weights on the Sand Shrew didn't treat him very well, and uh, Sand Shrew just absolutely destroyed Ash. Um, and so I quite uh, in enjoyed that episode, and I liked Sand Shrew. I'm actually gonna. Um, use their hard case um, in this method so not, not too bad so sometimes out of this stuff you get some extra bonuses because you know hard cases and penny sleeves and stuff like that they all, it all costs money um, you know it's not very much like I said I think you can buy a hundred um, penny sleeves for or you know uh, or sorry I don't even know 25 I don't really honestly know but I mean just the idea is they're a penny sleeve but um, you know, I don't really know how much they cost. I'd have to go back and look and see what it costs for the ones I ordered. But 
Not very much. I think it was like eleven dollars, and I got uh, a huge sack of like a hundred hundred packs, and then. Um, the hard cases are really what get expensive, but at the same time, you don't want to always use uh, the hard cases you get because a lot of them, a lot of the time, can be scratched and and things like that. So uh, it can end up being no bueno. All right, so um, I kind of prematurely opened this without letting you guys see. Um, I don't even know if you can see there, but um, this is the trouble with buying. I think you know personally, uh, cheap hard cases. Uh, the cards came like this they were already out so um, you know thank goodness nothing too bad happened and maybe that just happened here with me transporting but um, <coughs> definitely not a good sign uh, when you open your packs like that and uh, cards are halfway out so I'm actually gonna take them out of the hard case so I can put them in the uh, goodness I mean I got like sticky stuff this is this one didn't want to open um, and now I know why and I got like glue on my fingers which uh, the thing I hate about these things right and this is why sometimes a simple postage mail is okay is that you will get things on your fingers like this glue and stuff that could end up damaging the card and you know it's not something you want so really try to I just hate how you got glue off because I hate making my hands warmer than they already are um, but you know it's and see because then now so now this um, so try not that down in there, and then and without trying to damage the card. So that's what I probably did. I guess um, I don't know if you guys can see that. I probably need to adjust the the camera a little bit. But um, so same again on these. The base set far fetch. Here, let me put them in sleeves before I show you. Um, Again, guys, I apologize, fighting a little bit of a cold, and, um, so now, actually, as I see, and that's one thing, you know, as I look at this, um, this Farfetch doesn't really have too much in, imperfections, maybe a little whitening on the bottom here, um, but this Hunter, on the other hand, and this is maybe something you couldn't see on camera, it does have a crease right here, so that's no bueno, um, that might be something I, I hold back, um, just because, guys, you don't really want to, you know, if you're selling these, collecting these, whatever, you kind of want to keep a certain standard. Um, and honestly, that Hunter right there would not meet my standard. I wouldn't want to buy that from a card store. Um, so I'm actually going to throw that one. Um, I probably won't throw it out or rip it like I did in another video because it's not that bad. But I'm definitely going to hold that back. But there's the far-fetched in the hard case. So, um, all right, we got another bubble meller. Um, Hopefully I don't end up getting the same situation where I get just the sticky stuff all over my hands and that's what I'm doing anyways it seems like. So maybe I just never knew the, the correct way to open up a bubble meller. I, I don't know. Alright, so on this one, let's see if there's anything else in there. So this came with the packing sheet with it. Um, let's just see if it read anything. Nope, just the description. So, um, got this Pidgey for a dollar uh, eighty. It's Koga's Pidgey. Um, it looks to be pretty mint. A um, little whitening in the corner down there. Um, you know, a little, little bit of whitening on the edge, on the front. You know, um, nothing too noticeable. Um, so pretty all pretty solid card. I mean, I really you know that's the thing about uh, eBay. I do like more than TCG Player is that most listings, at least for uh, vintage cards, generally um, have came with. I knew that was going to happen. Um, have came with uh, pictures that really can get you a feel for the card if you sat there and inspect them, especially if they took good pictures. Uh, whereas on TCG Player, a lot of the vintage stuff, there's no pictures. So, um, you know, I know they're, you know, I know reputation is a thing on some of these sites, but, you know, they could sell me a Jim Mint and it have, um, you know, tons of whitening on the back or, you know, just very little noticeably. And I didn't know that before I bought it. So I'm going to be a little bit more perturbed, uh, maybe in the price I gave for it, if that makes sense, comparative to um, me giving. 
<coughs> you know, a dollar for a card that I knew there was a little bit of whitening on um, that I don't think is a big deal compared to maybe like, um, you know, the whole corner is whited out, something like that. So, you know, it, it does, it's a, how do you say it makes a difference, and so for me, I've I've kind of decided that I'm going to stick with eBay, especially because a lot of the prices, um, how TCG player I think draws you in a lot of the times, um, is when they give you the price range on the cars, and I, I'm sure you can uh, filter through, but um, just where I'm so used to eBay, it's kind of like clockwork for me to go to eBay and search Pokemon, but um, is it kind of get you with, oh look, this card's only seven cents. And you know you gotta read it. Well, it says damaged. Well, you know you don't. It, then it doesn't have a picture. How damaged is it? Well, it could be ruined. It could be fine. Well, then you start going into um, the gym mints and stuff like that. And all of a sudden, you know you're getting into like a seven dollar, five dollars, the cheapest I think I've seen card range uh, for anything um, nice. You know, and the lightly played can be, um, I think, worse than most of the stuff I'm buying off eBay, and it's in the same price range. So. You know, really, guys, I mean, you know, someone could correct me and say, no, all the stuff I find on uh, TCG Player is amazing. But, um, so, guys, they, um, I think this is two Psyducks um, in, in a hard sleeve that they tape together. Um, so, a little bit of annoyance, but, and then just a base set polywalk. So, this is the, the fossil uh, Psyduck, and this is the, uh, just base set polywag. Um, and the funny thing about this was um, maybe Psyduck wasn't in the base. Just, you know, I don't remember um, the cards having, you know, that noticeable difference. And uh, I mean, I think a lot of my cards I had um, were the original base set. Uh, I don't think I had a whole lot of first editions to be honest with you. I mean, I think we all wish we did, but I think for the most part, I think most of my cards were just the original um, base set Pokemon, the base set Unlimited. Um, I don't, you know, and I could be wrong. Maybe I had all kinds of different stuff, and as a kid, you just don't uh, care about those things like you do as an adult. You know, we put a lot more into, uh, you know, stuff like that. Like, for example, you know, I think for most kids, if they get a Charizard, they don't care what kind of Charizard it is, they like Charizard, and for adults, it's like, no, if it's not a first edition, I don't want it, you know. Um, so, try to get these Psyducks out of here to maybe take a bigger inspection at, so, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, so, I mean, yeah, and that's the problem, they put them in the same penny sleeve, and I just, I mean, I know it's for shipping, I know it's to save costs, but you know, that, that does rub together, it causes whitening. Um, so yeah, all, all in all, pretty solid cards. This one's probably the nicer one of the two. Um, it's got nothing noticeable on the front, and it's just got a little bit of, um, little bit of whitening on the back there on the edges. And, but, uh, and really, this card would have been the better card, a little less whitening in my opinion, um, but we got kind of the, uh, a, uh, Nick right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a Nick kind of slash um, decoloration, and it's still like to know what those came from. Like, did we just all use pins back then? Like, were we always using pins near our Pokemon cards, or like, um, you know, what what are these in you know these marks coming from? Because I feel like um, it just seems weird to think that it could be like dirt or something like that. But um, you know, I've seen. I guess you know you don't realize. Um, you don't notice things that happen over a very long uh, period of time, I guess that makes sense, so, um, you know, it makes sense as to why that's something that just seems so odd, and I just dropped a hard case right here, so a little embarrassing, guys, but, um, um, just try to get these in here and finish out this video, because the poly, um, wag was, um, Oh goodness me. And that's got some some well and check sometimes because just like that that came with some debris in the top loader already. So 
it ends up being one of those you don't want to put that in there and have that debris in there and then you have to take out the card and every time you handle a card you always have to run that risk of of something happening but see this is why I understand I mean they did it for the shipping they didn't want the card to fall out um, but now I kinda have to be rough with this and to try to peel off the plastic and you always run just like there I kinda bent the card a little bit and I mean not enough to cause damage but you know I, I just really hate um, uh, there I probably just I actually think I just damaged the card um, I hate when sellers do this because you you run the risk of of damaging the card and you go from the card being worth the little value it's worth like this polywag it's not first edition it's just a base set it's kind of a speculative buy for me I like the vintage Pokemon and you know you so you spend you know I probably spent you know this one I probably spent a little bit more on I probably spent close to two dollars you know my average is around that two dollar range a little bit under um, so just assume that every card I spend two dollars on I mean that's inflated by some of the more expensive buys I've done but you know um, gosh I got scissors somewhere but I don't know maybe that's some maybe that's on me I should be prepared and have scissors so alright guys I'm not doing this on camera because I'm just gonna break this card because I'm so mad so um, don't do this don't take the top so that those didn't come out of the top loader I know I just said like hey um, you know I hate when the cards come out of the top loaders but if you buy nice ultra pro top loaders the card will not come out um, if you buy crappy um, big time top loaders the cards will come out like that's just that's just the truth so um, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of it, but guys, it's all for me on my DT. Like, subscribe, comment, please. Um, I'm just going to do a walk away because I don't even have the energy to do an outro.